always try but he he does not want to sit he wants to throw fits instead unfortunately anyway um hello it's just me and in my house that looks the same it's full of nail polish Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. And today we're unpacking my nail polish. Again, I know, this is, this is my future. This is my life, this is your life now. Okay, no, don't leave me alone in this. This is your life too, that you're choosing to spend <laughs> watching me unpack it. So your life is also nail polish, okay? Like, that's it. Simply has made 20% progress. Crystal, maybe that is a good metric. You know, like what's your reference category? 20% as of when? Per hours streamed? Like that's not that bad. Per days that we lived here? Like may maybe, maybe not the best. <laughs> but I made you a promise that I'm not gonna put away nail polish unless I'm showing you. So I haven't touched a thing. I 
Haven't looked at this place. Yeah, Xyler's howling. It's... Who's crying? It's my baby. He's orange. Okay, the other difference is in this current <laughs> setup. Tyler, excuse me, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm using a shotgun mic. That sounds violent. Why is it called that? Um, I'm using <laughs> a microphone that's like on the camera over there. That's not like the, one of these guys. So it, you're gonna hear more like a uh, surround sound, surround sound. Xyler's part of the new surround sound system. That's actually what it is. Yeah, like ask tech people. So now you can hear more from my atmosphere, from my environment, but it's because I didn't set up the other mic with like the boom arm. And that reminds me that I need to do that for this weekend, which is a launch because I won't be organizing my nail polish this weekend. No, I will just be organizing four of them. And that's it. I will put only four on. Siler is my ambient noise, yes. Anyways, welcome on in everyone. It's Wednesday and uh, we're continuing the same thing we've been doing since I moved here, which was only like two weeks ago. And I'm trying to fill all my new nail polish shelves, which look the same as my old shelves. That was intentional. Yes, I hate change. We're gonna fill them all up. This is good progress, don't insult me. But um, I have some changes I wanna make. I know, I kinda hate it, but you know, we'll talk. We'll talk. Welcome on in to the Menchie Gang, to the mods, to everybody, to all the cats. Hello, I need more crackled taco. My nephew claimed one. You'll have to wait if we, and see if we bring him back in October for spooky season. This unpacking IRL game is very long. <laughs> we might need eight parts. This is the longest game I've ever played. Happy National Banana and Bat Day. Of course there is. I want a custom team home in Jersey like that. Thank you, Mike. Um, well, you can't because I got their signatures. <laughs> okay, I will tell you what's going on with my Jersey because some of you were like, Canada? What's that? What is, what are the, what is that? Is that a country? Is Canada a country? So over the weekend, I went out. That's why I didn't stream on Saturday. I know, Simply Analogical left the house. She went to Toronto to see Drake. To reminisce over the role that I didn't get in Degrassi. That's actually what happened. I also went to his hundred million dollar mansion or whatever. Um, no, okay, well not that, but I did go see Team Homan which is a women's curling team play in one of their many tournaments. And this is their jersey that they wore for the world, which is like, I guess like the most important playoffs in curling, which is a sport that people play. In case you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, in Canada. Well, no, they play it everywhere. But um, the world's championship for curling um, was last month. I didn't go to that, but this was their jersey from that and Hollow Taco is a sponsor and has been all season. So I was like, I'm gonna need one of your jerseys. I would like to wear and represent. So I thought that was really fun. And um, they were so kind to get my name printed on it. Look! Simply illogical. And then we went to the bar drinking, I know, who, who is she? And um, I asked them to sign, not that they needed to drink to sign, but I'm just giving you environmental context. And all four of them signed my jersey. So now I have a special jersey that is representative of when they won the biggest tournament of the year for women's curling and, and uh, in the entire world, like they're the best in the world. This isn't just Canada, to be clear. <laughs> But they're, they were Team Canada, which is why their jersey says Canada. And Hollow Taco is a sponsor, which is so cool. And I got my name on it and their signature. So this is a very important jersey. So if you're into sports, like maybe, maybe you kind of know. Like you could apply it to the sport of your choice and be like, okay, I get it. Anyways, it's so I also painted an Olympian's nails gold because they won a gold medal. 
and yeah, they were very cool. So it was fun. It was a good time. I saw something hollow in the recent ad that wasn't polished. Oh? When do we reveal more? Is it tomorrow? Maybe. I want a boost meal replacement beverage all of a sudden. Yeah, well, see, I'm not sponsored by the other brands on here, but Team Homan is. <laughs> I'm just sponsored by Holo Taco. Yeah, okay. Speaking of Holo Taco, this weekend, hello. Okay, I mean, you already know this, but I will reiterate. This weekend is the launch of Holo Royalty's custom collection that they voted on back last year. I think it was October and December. They voted new shades into existence. They will all be limited edition. They all have really cute custom cartons that they come in. And also maybe a surprise that isn't nail polish per se. And that is this weekend, Saturday, 11.30 Eastern, 8.30 AM uh, Pacific. Same time as my, as my streams normally, plus a half an hour. So yeah, let's go. I'm excited. A lot of people are like spotting out what they voted for and they're like, that's, that's her. She's gonna be mine. <laughs> And, and the sale, right? Okay, yeah, everyone knows that too. So the sale is our loyalty sale, which is our version of a customer appreciation sale, where whether you're Hollow Explorer, Hollow Swatcher, or Hollow Royalty, you get a discount. It's only for people who are in our loyalty program. So it's not for anyone. It's for people who've been buying Hollow Taco in the past year and are in one of the tiers. And the discount you get is commensurate to the tier you're in. So it's 10% for Hollow Explorer, 15% off for Hollow Swatcher, and 20% off for Hollow Royalty, which I know most of you are because we've done that poll before. Majority of this chat is, is Hollow Royalty. So that's very exciting. The sale excludes new products. So the new Hollow Royalty polishes will not be on sale. And it will also exclude what is the last new thing we release, which is the cookies and crumbs. But other than that, everything on the website, starting from the retail normal price, you get 20, 15 or 10% off, whatever your tier is. So this is the perfect time to like stock up on whatever is in your wish list, on essentials, glossy taco, base coats. You know, if, if you didn't pick up the I Need Space collection, you can buy individuals, anything. But like last year, some of our like hero shades, things that people just love, but you know, aren't necessarily new, those kind of clear out. So I highly recommend that if you're like, no, I definitely need this very specific linear hollow, <laughs> or I really want, you know, this creme that maybe other people are thinking the same thing and have been waiting for the sale, that although we've done a good job at stocking new products, it's hard to say if like all of everything on the website, cause there's a lot of, there's over a hundred different items on the website will have good stock to last, like the entire duration of the sale. So my advice is, is put everything on your wish list now, log into your account, add to your wish list. It will not delete your wish list. Your cart gets deleted. So don't do your cart before, just put it on your wish list, log into your account. Um, there will be no code needed for the discount. Just log into your account and it'll automatically ap apply based on your tier in cart. But yeah. Get everything that you've been looking for, have been waiting for to get on sale and do it like at launch. Launch of the Hollow Royalty collections happens at the same time as the sale. So you can do both things at once. So plan your sale purchases before, grab Hollow Royalty while you're there at 11.30, check out and get whatever you were looking for. Cause I don't know, you know, how much stock of all the individual stuff. It's really hard to predict that kind of stuff. I'm going to have a shopping spree. What time is it again? It'll be at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. It's the same time as every Holo Taco launch on Saturdays has been. The sale starts at the exact same time as the Holo Royalty site takeover. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very exciting. And the sale will last just for the weekend. But like, honestly, <laughs> If you're available, I would just get what you want up front and not wait until the end of day Sunday because what if you wanted just isn't there on sale anymore. I'm not as worried about the newer products, but like 
Maybe you really wanted dead petals. I'm just pulling. I don't know what stock is off the top of my head. And then it's gone because too many people bought it. So that would be really annoying. So I would just try and be there if you can earlier, like at the start of the sale rather than waiting till the end. Uh, that's just my advice. What about Oak Couture? I don't know. It's possible just one of the missing barista shades will be restocked, but it won't be the whole bundle. We're still working on perfecting it. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so log in and make a wish list. Yes, make a wish list, log into your account. And then if you go to like the drop down on the right, there'll be a thing that says wish list. And you can add to it just by browsing the website and clicking the little twinkle stars. So like you see stars in the top right corner of any item, just click that. The stars mean add to your wish list. And then when you go to the top right, of the like main browser and go to your account and your wish list, it'll show you everything that's on your wish list. And then when it's sale time, you can just click the one button that says add all to cart. And there, easy. Today's outfit looking like an athlete. That's because we're ready to unpack. <laughs> So I wore my sports gear on purpose. All right, so that's it. That's all for any updates I had. Um, just, yeah, this is what we're doing today. We are unpacking and you are not allowed to distract me because I need to get my work done. <laughs> I did find my cup though. Remember how I couldn't find anything? I found this cup with the cats on it. And I was so relieved. I was like, that's where they are. <laughs> I lost my cat. Thank you, Jaylene's nail art. Treating myself this weekend, even though my birthday was last week. Love all you do, and thank you for letting us create polish again. Thank you. Happy birthday soon. Yeah, I think you guys did good this round. I love it. I mean, we did use a little bit of discretion to make sure they didn't all end up the same color, because that's how the boats go. You know, don't give me shit. That's on you. So we had to massage it to make sure they didn't all end up the same color. But if you got your way, they would. <laughs> First stream I made in a while. Glad to be here. Are you planning to unpack on stream? And uh, all your nail polish or just hollow taco? Uh, probably just hollow taco because look how far I've gone. Uh, it's been three streams and I've gotten this far. I don't want to stream unpacking nail polish for eight years. I think like just a couple months is probably sufficient. So I was just gonna put Holo Taco in the middle like this, and then, then we will reevaluate our lives. Are you actually unpacking all your nail polish? Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Christine looking like she's about to participate in a race. This is a race. <laughs> wish list ready, okay, yeah. I'm gonna unpack, you guys get your wish list ready. Okay, you have homework. I can't do it for you. You also can't do this for me, unfortunately, I wish. <laughs> I wish you could help me. Okay, one thing I would like to discuss is I don't like this. I don't like the boxes behind it. And I'm like mad because I made sure that we redesigned these shelves with a little bit more height so I could put the boxes in. And now I kind of don't like the boxes behind the bottles. Thank you, Silver Snow. I don't like the boxes either. Oh, oh no. I oh, know. Shit. Shit. Oh no. What did, what did we do? <laughs> I gotta I gotta redo all of it. It just doesn't match. Okay. This is this is why. This is why. Okay. I'm racing. <laughs> oh my god, the floor is slippery. And I'm wearing my uh, my slippers. Slippery on the slippers. Okay. I, I, it kind of looks okay when the beauty guru light's not shining on it because like that makes my ugly ring. But I'm really liking this. I'm liking the double tier of the bottles. Like I like seeing bottle and then bottle. And with the boxes, I can't have that. I just have to have two in a row back to back. And that's kind of like weird and different. And if I only do one row of them, I just feel like it's lacking in depth. So I'm kind of thinking, take out the boxes, 
put back my little riser and do it exactly like this so that this shelf is like this and this but then maybe higher up where like i can't reach anyways hi i'm five four um there i will put the boxes and then i can bring the boxes i don't know how high this is i have like five shelves above this that the camera can't see but i will bring the box a little bit out like this to show you here and then on shelves up there that I can't reach anyways I could have the box just flat right so I'm just choosing maybe select selecting a few boxes to just do a row of boxes and not polish I feel like then it's more deliberate is that a good idea is that a good plan because I don't want to redo my plan again Yeah, like a display shelf. And I put them higher, cause like I won't need to reach them. Much better idea, okay, everyone agrees. Why didn't you tell me this last time? I mean, you probably did and I just ignored you. <laughs> I probably told you to shut up. <laughs> yes, boxes up top for display. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, here we go. Here we go, one more time, everybody feeling fine. Here we go now, yes, 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 here we go. Simply has got the flow. Put your hands in the air. Something I don't care, here we go. What is going into my brain today? What, okay, first of all, first things first on the realist. I'm gonna grab plain cartons, black unicartons. Which a surprising number of you save, right? What was the poll results last time? Like 22% of you were like, keep all the black cartons, like not even the limited edition ones. I was like, that's a lot. I guess you're, you're like me. 22% of you are me. I mean, I keep them cause I like them behind my nail polish shelves. They look good. These are just empty, okay? All right, I'm gonna take this out strategically. And also we're gonna have to redo the time lapse, yes. RIP to my phone storage. Oh fuck, I just realized I have to take all of these off in order to put this thing back. <laughs> Okay, I need a better solution to hold them temporarily. What about the, hold on. I'm right here. I'm just beside my other storage unit, which I showed on Snapchat. Go to my Snapchat series to see more of my room. I just posted uh, earlier today, like what the state of this whole room is that is very difficult to show from this camera because there's like 8 million things behind it. Um, but you can see, here, I'll just go like this temporarily. Can you hear me okay if I'm talking to the wall? Like if I'm talking to the wall, can you hear me okay? Blah, blah, blah. I just want to know, you know, so that, uh, I don't want to ignore you, you know what I mean? I want you to feel in included. This is just temporary, don't worry. Can, you can hear me fine? Not really. Okay, well some of you can hear me. <laughs> hearing. What is hearing? I can't hear you. Hello. So, how has your week been? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Mine's been a lot. Just too much to do. As evidenced by literally not touching this room for a long time. You know, I haven't come in here since when did I stream? Saturday? I have not walked into this room. <laughs> Which is crazy. Cause you'd probably be like, uh, Christine, don't you wanna unpack all your nail stuff? Cause like you, you have work to do also. 
um, yeah, unfortunately I've had to prioritize like computer related work, like processing, approving, decks, decking, like meeting, stuff like that ing that um some of it's fun some of it's like not really you know <laughs> like i'd rather be down here just casually taking my time unpacking my nail shit but but no i have work to do because this isn't work apparently maybe you could put ben to work also i don't know if i trust him to be honest like because he would just like take it and throw it places <laughs> And it wouldn't be done the way I would like it, you know? And I would like my workspace to be very specific with my stuff accessible where I know it is. So I would not want someone to organize my stuff for me. Uh, no offense to organizers. I love them for what they do in helping people. But like, yeah, like someone on last stream was like, just hire a professional organizer. And I know Sophia's done it and you've all seen it. And that's absolutely wonderful. But uh, I wanna do it. <laughs> I wanna be a professional organizer, okay? Okay, we've, we've cleared it off. So I don't need this then. I wanna do it, I just have no time. So I have no solution. It'll get done eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, the cat cartons I'm gonna leave because this is the glitter aisle anyways. So they're fine as they are. And I have like 50 of them because the cats jumped over. I needed 50 of each for the cats to jump over in a video. So I just have that many. So that they're gonna hang out back there. Um, okay. So I need the bar to go back. Hold on, let me grab, I mean the riser, not the bar. The bar. Oh shit, these are heavy, holy shit. Oh my God, okay. This looks so deceptive. This looks like it's just some, I don't know, black piece of, piece of plastic. It's actually so heavy, what? <laughs> I guess, is this solid, like wood? No, they didn't make this out of wood. Is this wood? I have no idea. I should probably know this because I bought it. Um, but it's like, it's a black lacquer, like nail polish, matte black. Hi, Simply, did you miss my questions? Maybe. I suggest extra unpacking streams, like the old Menchi snoozing streams. Um, yeah, except I, I would, but as I was saying, I have way too much to do during my normal life hours that aren't dedicated stream hours that I can't even make time to make more streams. I wish, but like I have a bunch of things coming up and stuff I have to do that means this can't happen more than twice a week. <laughs> RIP, even on Saturday we can't because we gotta, we gotta launch royalty. Okay, let's, how do I put this in again? this. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. No. Ben said to go like this, right? No. Ben! <laughs> Does it? Like this. Oh, I can't figure it out. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Bend. <laughs> How do I do it? When's the video with Sophia mixing all the hollow tacos into a prank taco? Uh, I don't know. Ask her. <laughs> I can't get this down. <laughs> Oh wait, oh I think I did it. Ah! I did it, I did it. Never mind, Ben, never mind. Holy shit, I almost killed myself with my fucking nails. Oh my God, there was almost a murder in the building. Okay. I did it, never mind. How did I do it? I just, I pushed it. 
eventually went. I'll show you the method. The method. The method, he said. He's the, the method man. Flip it up. Okay, well, don't take it out now. Okay, but once it's out. Yeah. Good. Back. No. There you go. Okay. Can I sign your shirt? No. It's, no. These are famous people only. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Ben. What? <laughs> I need to work. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna pretend he's not here. All right, I gotta do the time lapse. But now it's gonna look stupid because there's these up here. Why did I put them here? Fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to move them. What's in view? Okay, not this. So I can put them over here. Why didn't I think? So stupid. I have to see how high this goes anyways. How oh, high? Oh, well, I guess my time lapse is super high. Like my phone is high. Love your shirt. How do we get one? You can't. <laughs> or wait, I think you can actually order their jersey, but it doesn't come with the sponsors because they can't just like sell other people's logos. Um, but I think you can actually order the Canada jersey, but it, no, no sponsors and no simply. I hear the music now. Oh, was it, is it not loud enough? I didn't catch the Saturday stream. I was too distraught from this guy. I'm sorry. Great progress. Is it? Yeah, it's exclusive athletic gear for athletes only. That's me. You have to compete in the world championships to be eligible to wear such apparel okay it means i am a world class nearly <laughs> eligible canadians only yet because now I'm gonna put unicartons okay we're, we're on track great progress yes nail check it's literally the same that I've been wearing for like a month this is highly embarrassing it's the same same thing Perry social with iridescent shimmers brownie points with the iridescent shimmers I I know it's kind of wearing at the edges I broke a thumbnail like I'm a mess it's fine <laughs> everything is fine RP the fuck is going on? Um, well, we are, we are a cult, uh, goo monster. But sorry, we don't let monsters in. Okay, so boo. Why don't you goo away? This cult is not accepting new members. We're at capacity. We 
think cults do that? Do you think they like reach a capacity and they're like, we don't have room to brainwash any more people. We are out of resources. <laughs> we have no more budget for brainwashing. Brainwashing budget is max out. Like I'm actually curious. I'd like to know. Anyone been in a cult? <laughs> Is it too early for progress? Yeah. I mean, yes. I also have a lot of the first anniversary cartons for some reason. Like the ones with the gold logo. See the difference? See they're gold? It's not the same. It's not the same. They're similar, but not the same. But then after we did this, I realized that that difference wasn't enough. So then we never did a black carton just with the color change again. So every carton after that, that was like limited edition was like very different. <laughs> but that's how you learn, you know? That's how you learn. Where will the cat beds go? Um, well, right now they're just like scattered around the house, whatever I could scrounge but yeah i i don't know like this isn't really ideal for a couch or a munchie there's just not enough room because i have 800 boxes on the other side of you behind you look look behind you um so i i don't know i don't have answers when everyone's like where will you put this where will this happen i don't know <laughs> all i know is that this room will be for my nail polish wall storage. That is locked in and done. Can't change that now. That would be very expensive to take out this wall or move it. Mm. But yeah, besides that, I, on my if you go to my Snapchat, I posted like a whole thing of what I'm thinking for this room, including like my macro photography table, which has always been separate from my stream table because I need to have a bunch of lights like this and it's really hard to film on like film my face on. So you have to kind of optimize for one or the other. Like, are you filming your face or are you doing macro nails? I find it's way too hard to have a setup that does both without having to move your lights every time and move your camera. And I hate having to do that because then I uh, don't have consistent shots. So I like having a different desk for a different purpose. Okay, am I running into this issue again where I'm running out of plain cartons? Cause I need to populate the rest of this before I populate in front of it. Boy. Uh, there's some cats so I can repurpose. I could do this. This is a cat. Take these little boys down here. I'm gonna have to go behind there. Cause these are cats. So I'm gonna leave them on the glitter aisle and let's steal these. Like my goal is to only do this once with the exception of Krems that I will expand and topper. So I'm leaving this as growing space. I know it's not that much, whatever. We'll reevaluate in a few months. But the other stuff is gonna be core formula and then by collection. So I'm not I'm not moving it, I'm not rearranging it all the time. Because that is um, not sustainable and we're forward thinking. Maybe have a cat cam. Yeah, but where will they sit? I haven't I have to decide that. Everyone's asking me why. Why where's the cats? <laughs> Where are you going? What happened? What's going on here? Why did you move? Who are you? <laughs> I don't have I don't have answers for anything. I'd be so happy to send you cartons. I have so many. Yeah, imagine I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, we're opening a program where you send me personally your cartons because I need them for my shelf. Thank you. Where are the cats? I don't know. I lost them. I can't find them. Don't ask me. Oh, I found more. 
cool, cool. I'm digging, I'm digging. I'm gonna pull them from here because I know I have more cats somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's another box that just says cats. Maybe that's where my cats are, like my live cats. Maybe I left them in a box that says cats. <laughs> when my sister was helping me pack, She's so dumb. <laughs> she, she wrote on it. <laughs> she wrote, like, it was cat stuff. It was like beds or whatever. And she wrote cats on it. And then wrote, do not shake. So, like, I don't know. I guess the movers would think, like, there was a live animal in this box. I'm just like, don't write that. They're going <laughs> to think that there's actually cats. Or they're going to, like, actually care and not shake the box. <laughs> like, it's unnecessary. <laughs> but I just left it. I forgot. I couldn't find a shirt. I don't, I still don't know whether they shook that box or not. Hi, Christine. I've had a bit of a bad day after an exam, but I just want to say thank you for always cheering me up with your streams on your content. Thank you, audits. Um, you know, exams are just one test in a series of many and in the series of tests of life, you know? So I'm not trying to the word I'm looking for. Wow, I'm failing this exam. Not trying to discredit or undermine the importance of whatever exam it was you took, like, because, yeah, technically there's more, but, um, you know, hopefully it was one that you won't even think about in, like, a year from now. You know what I mean? Unpacking is hard. There's a video game about it. I would rather be playing the video game. <laughs> okay, we did this wall. I will deal with the cats later, but while I'm at it, I just want to make sure, like, that's 100% cats, right? Yeah. Cats, 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 cats. Yes, okay, so cat cards stay there. Now I have this. Okay, now I'm going to time lapse. I know this has changed, but that's fine. I don't care. Just, it won't be perfect. I don't have time to be perfect anymore. <laughs> so, wait, I have to decide what we're doing. Fuck, I'm getting ahead of myself. What am I putting? I need to look at my reference picture. Hi, Christine, I'm really stressed about moving and I hate change. Any tips? Um, make your setup look the same as your last step. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Literally though. Like I even got the same type of desk like in my office. It literally just like slightly different color. <laughs> like the same desk with the same like drawer and whatever so that I could have the same, uh, you know, procedural whatever for me. Paint your room the same color. Take the same shelves, take the same furniture if you like, if it fits. Yeah, if you're just a creature of habit, then copy paste as much as possible. And then once you start settling in, if you know, you have to unpack to settle in. Don't listen to me, I haven't done that yet. Uh, but it should become a little more normal over time. I, I, I tell myself. <laughs> Who doesn't feel normal? <laughs> Label your moving box. Yes, that's what I did too. I don't think I can lift this. There's too much stuff in it. But um, in all the cardboard boxes that I packed, I wrote in Sharpie, like what room, obviously. But then I also wrote like a quick few notes about some key things that included. And another hot tip is anything that like you know you're gonna need and you're gonna wanna look for, I drew a heart on. I started out with heart stickers, but then I ran out of stickers. Um, so, so don't overdo it. It's like highlighting your notes in class. Don't highlight everything. Just put a little heart sticker on the box like you know you're gonna wanna find that. But then there's other boxes you're like, I don't care about these fucking kitchen casserole dishes. I'm not gonna cook for the next eight months anyways. So like, don't put a heart on that box. Right, there you go. I love cleaning stream. I'm doing so many chores, I haven't had uh, spoons, spoons. What do you mean? I haven't had spoons to do for months now. <laughs> After having two weeks, pain 
There's, you probably mentioned another word, but my brain cannot connect it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's actually genius. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what was I doing? Looking up my reference photo. My reference photo, so I can recall what I had in my last shelf. Okay, here it is. So, I, my picture, it's the same shelves. I had crumbs. Well, I'm, I am changing it. Toppers is new on the second shelf exclusively. Okay, it's the linears. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I literally took them off the shelf and that's what I was gonna put there this whole time. Ugh. Spoons is a reference to energy. Oh, okay. Sorry, I I don't know. I just assumed it was a thing I didn't get. I mean, I still I still don't know, but it's fine. Where did your brain go? I left it at the old house. Okay, let's time lapse. We're gonna do it, I swear. Okay, ready? In time-lapse mode. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with pastelis from the left. So, uh, we start with circuit breaker. And I am gonna double up. So circuit breaker and then 50 shades of grayish. I can only find two though, so I'm just gonna put two here and I'll have to populate them later. And then we're gonna do lemon spritzer. Peach tea. I guess this really depends like if I have four or not. I mostly do seem to have four. Coral Chaser. Okay, that is such an underrated shade. Like, hello. Coral Chaser is like a pale red. You know, it's, it's quite nice. But it's not really pink. So, no, I don't think they're the same. Pink Fizz. And lavender syrup, a, a really top seller. I wonder how many people are gonna buy lavender syrup at the loyalty sale. And then sparkling water, which is not the same formula as what we're releasing on Saturday. Real ones, no. And then mint mojito, which is my mod uh, procrastination's favorite shade. I'm sure she's telling you right now, even before she realizes that I said this. <laughs> and that completes the pastel linears. So now let's go to OG linears, and we'll begin with lemon sucker. Um, is that the one we discontinued? How come I don't even remember? Can't remember. We argued back and forth about whether it was gonna be lemon sucker or lemon spritzer so much that I actually can't remember unless I look at the website. Fuck. Someone please fire me. Red licorice. I don't have doubles of these right now on hand, but I would totally add doubles because I just like the bold colors, like there being a lot of them. So yeah, we could do that if I find them. Uh, magenta jelly. I'll be ready for this I do have three of those, so. Purple slushy, blue freezy. Oh shit, I'm I didn't do this properly. Yikes. Yikes forever. Yikes forever. Oh my god, I'm on screen. Uh oh. Take them off. 
Uh, where does hydropower go? Here, I think. No, no, don't lie. Here. And then full charge, RIP. Like that one could actually fit here, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's put her here. In between Mint Mojito and Lemon Sucker. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah. Okay, Dark Rainbow. Burnt Bridges, um, Orange, and then Crimson Void, and then, oh, oops, Burnt Bridges times two, Dead Petals, Backup, uh, Violet Nightmares, um, oh, that's Electrostatic. You hold on. Sunken Secrets, I can only find one for some reason. I'll have to find more. Lost in the Woods, and then Electrostatic. So, I know I have some room here. Time lapse, let's end the time lapse. I have a little bit of room, but I know I'm gonna find doubles of some of these bright colors and I will want to expand them and give them more real estate because they are they deserve it so that's what I'm going to do here just basically throw it because I consider this like core linear hollows like these aren't this is just core formula none of this is limited I mean some of them are retired but whatever um and then I have glitter up top okay now now we need to think again about what to do. Good progress, right? So all I did was just remove the boxes and put them, put the nail polish back. But it's fine. Be hook with Rachel. Rachel, come over and help me. <laughs> did you get hot wire pink? Yes, she's right there. I just have one of them. It's hard to see with the beauty guru lighting. Like, here, can you see? The beauty guru lighting is still on, but. You can kind of see it a little bit. I just don't want it on for the um, time lapse because I'm going to turn it on at the end and be like, big reveal. Pew. I love technology. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? It's just like, wow. That's, that's so cool. Okay, back to my reference photo. So, all the linears. Last time I had the glitters beside, but I'm going to do its own shelfie. And then I started doing it by collection, order, ish. So that means like multi-chromes, frosted metals, which I do group together. I don't know, it's tough. It really is hard to like come up with a very specific coding structure and you're like I will only do it this way because what if I'm like well actually I'm making exceptions here which is fine so you know what polish do you have the most of probably glossy taco <laughs> no um I mean I don't know the cats the cats. Menji the cat and Tyler the cat because I got 50 of each of them in order to film the video where they jumped over them. There. That's what I have the most of. How many left do we have to go? Eight million! Okay, this is another box. But I swear there's another, another box that I don't know where it is. Sometimes you just gotta go with the vibes. Yep. So this is limited edition stuff, but I feel like we're not there yet, you know? Like, no, we're not there yet. He is not here, we're not there yet. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm gonna start compiling on this desk what I have in front of me. Oh wait, fuck, look. This is where the doubles were. 
I put them right here, though. Okay, hold on. These are really cool serving trays, you know what I mean? Like, people come over for uh, for dinner or whatever, and then you could cut the, the flap off your black corrugated chipper box and then be like, would you like some charcuterie? A lot taco? Can I interest you in a petit uh, green taffy? <laughs> this is why I don't have friends. <laughs> okay, but now I got doubles. Yay! Um, I have too many purple slushies. And too many blue freezies. Pillar, do you want them? I'm not putting more than four. That's just too much. Too much. I need more dark rainbows. I gotta find those. Okay, so this is just like overflow. Overstock. I should, I should make a new website that's like Simply Neological's overstock. <laughs> just kidding. That'd be weird. Um... I am scanning, scanning for hollow. Okay, let's go to, let's go to the X. Hi, Simply, my first member chat. Thank you, Missy Mark. I hope you are getting nice and cozy in your new place and that you are taking good care of yourself. Thank you. I try. Uh, I love hollow taco. Thank you. Are you worried about the sun shining on your polishes? No. Um, I have blinds and I don't leave the lights in my shelves on unless I'm like, I don't know, filming or something, but I don't leave them on all the time. So I would not recommend that. If you happen to have lights in your nail polish shelves, it's like one other person who has this. <laughs> don't leave the lights on, even though they say they're LED and they say they don't create any heat. They're literally lying. Like I, I'm sorry. If anyone is a tech person, please explain to me why all LED light companies say that they're like, no heat, does not cause any heat. And then I'm like, it's literally warm. <laughs> what am I missing? They're just gaslighting us. Or maybe I'm just really cold that anything feels hot. Like, I don't understand. Okay, maybe they're, maybe it's tricky marketing because what they really mean to say is relative to a traditional halogen bulb, it's low heat, but they just like dropped that part of the sentence, which is incredibly important because it's their reference category. And they're just like, no heat. Uh, uh No, there is heat. Yeah, gas lighting, LED lighting, they're the same thing. It's compared to incandescent, the heat is much time. Okay, so I was correct. They just do it for marketing, but it's so misleading because they never say compared to. The world is full of lies. This is true. The world is just a big liar. Um, 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 um. I need multi-chromes. Okay, so I see all the light modes. They're right here. So I'm gonna pull them anyways, but I'm scanning for multicoms because that is a small succinct category that I could start to load up. And then I'm gonna actually follow with light modes. That's how I had it last time and they're just right here. So it'd be nice to clear this off. I've had LEDs that get incredibly hot, right? Like why so many lives? Stop lying to me. I know you're lying. Uh, that's a magnetic. Magnetic Midnight Spark, which is indigo. Wicked Potion Magnetic Bunko Black Extras Overstock, because I think I already, I mean, I could fit more if I wanted to, but. Where does Overshadowed, oh, bleh, hello? Where does Overshadowed go? I don't know. These are barista, here's multi-chrome. Okay, so I knew I unpacked a few, I just didn't know where they were. Multi-chrome, multi-chrome. We are scanning boop, 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 cat's evasion. Blue ain't slick, RIP. <laughs> cat's evasion. Any more, any more? These are all glittery, the 
this is magnetics here I'll just start putting all the magnetics over here magnetic magnetic love spell the chromes where am I gonna put that oh a glitter a rogue glitter oh there's more rogue glitters I'm gonna have to clean that up later these are all barista shades uh, okay so I don't have many multi-chromes like what the heck I know I had more at my other house like I feel like there is a there is a gap uh, hmm Maybe they're in here. Oh wait, there's a mist shift. Okay, we got a clue, it's in here. Cat's evasion. Dead petals. Oh, oh, got, she's gotta go up. Uh, tax Haven. I feel like that was one of the first collections where we started doing like mixed, mixed messaging formula. So I'm gonna keep them together and not put it with multi -crons. Cause otherwise it's just, too complicated. Uh, light mode, RIP encryption key. Magnetic. Okay, this is good, this is good. Cause now I'm like coding them into little groups. Like what people do in high school, you know, they get into their little cliques and then they're mean to each other. <laughs> um, Wicked Potion. Blue and Slick, RIP. What's this? A barista. And uh, chameleon coat. <makes noise> Fuck all y'all for not respecting her. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Sunken Secrets. Okay, that can go up there. Another overshadowed. And then this is mostly, there's just like some frosted metals hanging around in here. Um, and some existential crisis. So I can do those next, cause that's not on the docket right now. And everything under this is limited edition. So push that aside and I will work with what I have here. And let's throw these little boys up. Sunk in. Okay. All right, so do I even have two of each? Like what is happening? Why do we only have one chameleon coat? Who stole it? Slick. I have four of. I have purple with envy. Wayback Chrome is from um, Remix, so she's got to go elsewhere. Okay, why do I have one chameleon coat? I need at least two for my shelves. Can you send me one? <laughs> Don't make me buy it off eBay. I'm. That is a joke. I do not support that terrible market of trying to profit off of fandom and customer appreciation and brand dedication to make more more money than the product is actually marketed as being worth. Manifesting a comeback for Seafoam Home. That is so specific. Um, I mean, Anything is eligible to be voted back by Hollow Royalty when we do our votes, but I don't think they're gonna pick that one. Yeah, Royalty Blue is like by a landslide last year, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. You can't bring everything back, otherwise, you're like a, a boomer who just won't quit, you know? You're just always coming back on contract. And it's like, I thought you retired. 
to open up for some jobs here. And then it's like, lol, JK, I'm actually back on contract for the seventh time. <laughs> so yeah, we're trying not to do that. Just, just a tiny bit, just a little bit of coming back on contract, but not everyone. <laughs> RIP Chameleon Co, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of contract work was okay, but uh, too much then, what's the point? Right, am I right? Okay, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna have to move the camera for like stream number six, five. Please quit, boomers. That was like me. That's a very millennial thing to say. Cause when I was trying to get a job, it was like, no one would retire. And I was like, please leave. <laughs> That's such millennial energy. <laughs> Okay. All right, I will start the time lapse and do just multi-chromes and then, no, light modes and then multi-chromes and then magnetics because they kind of like blend. Does that make sense? It does to me. Manifesting a comeback for Blue Ain't Slick. Well, it depends. People have to vote her into existence, but they definitely, existential crisis took the lead by a landslide over something like Blue Ain't Slick, you know, it's just, wasn't that important. Okay, hold on, I'm, I'm rethinking things. I kind of want light mode closer to the middle, just because from afar without special lighting, they look a bit brighter, you know what I mean? Like they're more colorful than the way multi-chromes read on a dark shelf. So I actually think it's, Magnetics, multi-chrome, light mode, and then we can go to frost and middle. M middles, middles. Yeah, let's do that. So actually now I need to organize my magnetics. Just kidding. Hello, Sydney. My sweatpants and zip arrived already. I just launched them on Wednesday. What? They are so comfy. Thank you. Thank you. Also wearing the Bristol bundle in the school. Did anyone notice my sweatpants? Like, hello. Hello, it's me. I embroidered this myself. That's a joke. That, no one would, would get their pants if I was embroidering this myself. Actually, if you got them, it would be a mess. There'd be one, one white string and that's it, if I did it myself. Uh, but yeah, these are my sweatpants. They're adult. They're the adult version of the hollow merch. You know, it's just white embroidery with cute little stars. So, you know, no one has to know. Or if they do, they're cool. It's, uh, it's my stay at home core. I stay at home, hollow, but not hollow core. We are matching. Yay, we're matching. It's, it's my professional outfit. I actually wear it to all my meetings. How do you decide what we get to vote on? If Plum Luck isn't up for voting, I will boycott the vote. It depends. Like, I'm not gonna put something up for voting if for ingredient reasons or manufacturing reasons, we cannot re-release it. So yeah, that just eliminates it. If we're like confident that's not gonna happen. Even if we're not even 100% sure that we could remake it, I wouldn't put it in the list because what if it wins and then we realize we can't. So yeah, I have to be a little more conservative uh, in deciding what could come back because I don't want people, I don't want the, it to win and then be like, just kidding, uh, we can't. Uh. So we really have to do a bunch of checks before. I'm just organizing my magnetics. So this should go here, but many and Tyler have to go together, even though this won't make a rainbow, I don't care. I just got here, what are we voting for and when? No one is voting for anything right now. Hello royalty gets exclusive input on a bunch of things over the year. They get to vote on what custom shade they want that's being released on Saturday. And they also get to vote on what of our retired shades are coming back. We've only done this once a year, 
Uh, and then the shade comes back around Christmas-ish. That's just the kind of like the timing that's worked. So in the past, Hello Royalty has voted back Existential Crisis and Royalty Blue. And so we'll do this again at some point. I don't have a calendar in front of me. But we will ask them, what would you bring back? And we can't put things on the list that we can't actually bring, so. Have you ever weighed your collection? Uh, well, I benched it once. Remember when I benched 500 nail polishes? So does that count? And didn't we weigh it? It's, it's escaping me how much it weighs, but like it, there's evidence on the internet somewhere. There's evidence on the internet. I'm just trying to figure this out. So I could do it like this. I know it's not rainbow, but it's fine. And then the cat cartons. So I have special Menchie and Zyler cartons. These are gonna go behind Menchie and Zyler. So let me grab those. Which I know I had some in here. Always save the limited edition stuff. Oh, there's some glossy taco. I was looking for that. Okay, I know I have more of these somewhere. What the heck? Fuck. Uh, hold on. There's a random box over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no more room on this desk. Oh. Found more stuff. Oh, it's overflow. Okay, hold on. I gotta sort through this before I can continue. Way back Chrome is remix, so go hang out over there. Naughty list. Yep, I can fit her there. I just don't want to put more than four of any one shade. You know what I mean? Like it's just too much. Like I, you don't need six polishes. Have you seen the poll Smasher Pass created by Ella on the Simply Discord? Very interesting. Uh, I have not because I haven't even been on Discord at, or like any social media. <laughs> Cause I've been so busy. Replace this. These are like kind of used, so. But I'm sure it's a wonderful poll. So feel free to check it out. I don't know what I'm endorsing. You did weigh it, 500 bottles was 109 pounds. I just went to the video and checked. There you go, there's an answer. But that's not the whole collection. But that is an amount. Glitterly Purple. Remix. Black Hollow Wish. Nope, there's already four. But I'm gonna swap it out for this one that's half used. Uh, fairy tale magnetic. Okay, good thing I went through here. Flash drive, light mode, glitterly purple. I had it like a rogue box of randos. Randoms. I have extra choco hollow. Man, have you seen the video Blackout Smasher Pass created by Tana Manjo on the YouTube? Very interesting. I, it does sound like your type of content. I could see why that landed in your algorithm. You know, it, it doesn't, I don't get recommended that type of content. It really is a reflection of the individual. Cartons. Okay, remind me, I have birthday ones here. What is Ben watching? No one wants to know. Okay, I'm convinced there's like another rogue box somewhere. Ben has a horrible algorithm. I mean like, your algorithm is a reflection of you, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
No, it's it that that's unfair. Like that's actually not true. <laughs> People like to joke, like, hey, it's in your algorithm. But it's partly true. Cause it is based on your watch time and what you're more likely to watch, and then they feed you more. But it's also social media doing its thing where it wants to fuck you up, you know? So it's trying to provoke you and rage bait you, even if you don't like the content, but you watch it at all, it's gonna hook you. Hook, hook onto you, not hook you, but maybe both. And then it will never cease, it will never let go, it will clench its claws and it's, it'll grab you and it'll just keep serving you that shit, even if you hate it because it wants to fuck you up. <laughs> so I haven't been on social media all week, which is kind of rare for me. I normally am like just more commenty, more posty or whatever. Um, but I've just been so busy like working, even though, yeah, social media is part of my job. I literally like to have, like, what? I was like, fuck, I should like go comment on Holodoco's posts. <laughs> like that's how busy I am. Like what? Yeah. It's actually been kind of nice. N not the not participating in Holo Taco stuff. Like obviously I want to do that. But just not seeing angry people in random TikToks or in my comments, which does happen. I'll I will post on TikTok like anything. And if it happens to get more views than standard, there's always someone who's just really mean. Like I don't get it. I'm like, "What?" I think that people are just angry, like, right? Like that's all it is. Like I didn't do anything, right? <laughs> like, usually it's not me. Usually I'm not the one. I don't do rage bait content. I don't make things intentionally to get people mad at me, which is a category of content. Um, but people are still mad, even if I'm, I didn't do anything. It's kind of sad. Like it almost made me like cry today. And I never cry. Not even at sad video games. <laughs> I never cry. And I'm literally sad thinking about all the mad people on social media. Mad for literally no reason. There are 13 year olds and boomers. See, I disagree. I don't think so. I think they are really angry young people, not children. And you can tell by the nature of their comments. Like I, listen. I know when it's clearly a child and they write the, the dumbest thing that doesn't even make half sense and I'm just like, okay, you're dumb. You're here for two seconds. You don't know who I am. I know that type of energy after millions of comments, but that's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to like older teens, younger twenties who are of the very um, easily angered and wanting to declare their opinion and say really cruel things to other people, maybe because it makes you feel good for two seconds. Like, like, okay, to be clear, this was not to me, but like one really good example is, is when people say like, well, that's what happens. Like, that's how you age when you're homophobic <laughs> or like whatever the, the thing they're trying to insinuate about the person is, whether it's true or not but it's like always a dig and it's a dig that's sophisticated enough that it's not a 12 year old. Do you know what I mean? Or like, yeah, that was just one very specific example. I, or like about someone's appearance. It's like, what happened to her? <laughs> just like a lot of that. And that's not a 12 year old. Those are older people who know better of like what politeness means and are just choosing to ignore it. What happened to us? Ben was making fun of my last super chat. Things got dark suddenly. Yeah. Who's being mean and making you upset? Literally the internet. Everyone. Everyone makes me mad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not you guys. I saw a 17 year old saying, oh my God, I want to age like her about the 23 year old actress from Bridgerton. Example. Yeah, like people are just doing these subtle digs at people and it's kind of sad. Like it's like covert bullying or it's not covert. I mean, whatever, I think it's obvious. Anyways, like I just noticed that a lot, like that type of energy. That's definitely not a child, it is a, full grown adult who's being a fucking bitch. Everyone's a bitch. Stop being a bitch. 
to strangers. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this. I was having this conversation with Ben earlier. I know I'm procrastinating. It's fine. That's what the title says. Um, my comparison, because yes, acknowledge I'm a millennial. I didn't grow up with social media in the same way. I didn't have Instagram where I could comment on celebrities things and pretend I don't care. But we did have prank calling, okay? And so what we used to do when we thought we were edgy and funny and better than people was prank call someone's house. Some of you have done this, like just admit it. <laughs> so I'd be like 13 or 14, like grade nine and we'd get together on a sleepover with friends and think we were like so badass if we like prank called this boy we didn't like's house. And like, it's really me. I didn't think that way when I was 13 or 14 that it was like actually mean, but like, it's obviously very cruel. And I realized that literally like two years later, <laughs> when I was 15 or 16, I realized that that was really immature and stupid. But when I was a younger teen, we thought that was edgy to just prank call someone's house you didn't like and like say something slightly offensive so their parents might hear it, you know? Anyways, I kind of correlate that to the same thing people do on social media to someone maybe they think they kind of know but they don't actually know in real life because it's social media and they think they're like smart and clever and funny and they're like, I'm just doing something to kind of hurt you. The difference is, is that when my age range did prank calling because that's what was available to us. We aged out of that really fast, right? Like no one prank called after like two years, right? Like maybe you did prank calling with your friends when you were like 12, 13, maybe 14. And then you were like, this is kind of immature. <laughs> like why am I behaving like this? And then you stop doing it. But now people don't stop being rude and inflammatory and intentionally, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like th they want to, they want to provoke and they want to cause shit then walk away, but also come back to see the arguments. And they don't age out of that. They just keep doing it. They're, they did it when they were 13 and now they're 14, 15, 16, 17. Now they're 23 years old and still acting like that. That is what I'm, interested in. I've been watching a lot of video essays lately from people who have like kind of dissected this and talked about uh, like what is offense and what does it mean to take offense and offense on behalf of other people and this individualistic idea that it's like it's cultural that in North America you get the right to say your opinion and that's a fact and you get to say whatever you want. It doesn't really matter if it's impolite and that contributes to this type of energy. But I, I thought, you know, like that plus the not aging out anymore is really a recipe for disaster. Where now we just have like people growing older than being young and dumb, which is, a, that's its own category. I get it, like you're a teenager, you didn't know what to do. <laughs> you didn't realize it hurt someone. But then now we're just growing older and continuing to be fucking rude. What is wrong? What is wrong with us? That's what blocking is for. That, that's like whack-a-mole. It just, it, you're better off just leaving social media. You can't block everyone who's a dumbass like that. It's just like sad. And I, I can't make an equivalent comparison to when I was growing up because we didn't have the same type of communication portals that we have today. The closest thing I could say was like doing the prank calling behavior. But again, aged out of that really quickly. No one kept doing that when they were 22 years old. That's dumb. But no one thinks it's dumb to keep insulting people on the internet when they're 22. They still do it. I don't, I don't get it. Anyways, it's, you guys are capable of having a profound conversation and reflecting on it because none of you do this behavior. But you all know exactly what I'm referring to. I honestly learn more interesting things on here than in psychology classes. Psychology should talk about this more because there's so much fascinating stuff you can relate to like social media and behavior to social psychology, to psychology and control, or like, you know, is it in someone's control? Like to uh, one of the video essayists I was watching was relating 
uh, offense to philosophy and was citing a lot of philosophers about like how to define when something is offensive and how of course that's subjective but then getting offended on behalf of others was kind of like a new thing that has not new but new in the social media landscape which has really blown that up i just found it really interesting i can't remember the name of the person i was watching because i watch so many different people now but this is what my feed looks like <laughs> I've been just watching a lot of video essays on why we're so fucked. Anyways. Back to organizing my nail polish. I will drop you my fave channels if I remember. That's kind of my fault for not. Here, I will tell you. I feel bad. So I'm going to just do a quick look at who I've been watching lately and I will just tell you. I think this stuff is super fascinating. How do I do watch history again? Mm. Not manage my history. Uh, where is my history? Recently uploaded mountain. How do I get my watch history? I, I am a YouTuber asking chat. How do I? It's under library? On your phone though? Because it's, it's different on your phone. Library. Library? What's in my library? Your videos. No, wrong. Not my videos. Home. Oh, new to you. No, not new to me. I see my categories. It just says millennials, gaming, psychology, sales, trial, thoughts. <laughs> Live. <laughs> it's in U Library. U Library. Oh, I don't see library. I see playlists, downloads. No library. Just, oh, history. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. There's a few. Ready? Kara Nicole with a C. Mina Lee, Ellie, Ollie Sunvia. That was that was a really good one. That was the self-centeredness is not self-care, and then why is offense justified? She was the one quoting uh, philosophers. Not even Emily is also really good. She had one on equating morality with physical attractiveness, which I thought was super interesting. She does these little skits too that are really good. Madison Brown had a piece on JoJo Siwa's rebranding, which I, which is like an analysis of that. Um, Kiki Chanel, she does a lot of like, kids shouldn't be influencers, what's going on on TikTok, why is it a problem? This is just stuff I've watched recently, so it doesn't, even, it's like all this week. Uh, Shan Spear is also really good. Uh, Bentendo, who's that? NK's world, world spelt without the O. There's another one. Um, just a lot of trial, trial, trial. Okay, um, I'll just, yeah, I'm just seeing some repeats of the same people. Anyways, sorry, I felt like I had to tell you because I felt I was gatekeeping their channels. So rude of me. She watches Nintendo. I watch Kiki too, right? <laughs> she does a good like review of what's going on on TikTok so you don't have to watch. <laughs> okay, get to work. Uh, speaking of anything else, you know, of, that I'm not doing, we should finish. So I organized my magnetics, so that's what I'm gonna do, time lapse. Let's do the time lapse again. Okay, so I'm gonna do the special unicartons over there. Okay, on that side. The lighting's better. Now, do I put two unicartons? Hmm. How does that look? Should I put two? No. I shouldn't, but that means I gotta take it out. Don't worry, I will cut this part out of the time lapse. Okay, just one carton. 
And if I find an, one in a carton, because now they're both empty, then I will add them. Can't wait for this time lapse. Honestly, it may never come. <laughs> because it's just too much work to edit. <laughs> just like Polish Mountain, a thousand layers never happened. Right? You remember how that never happened? And I only showed it to stream? Yeah, well. Oops. Xyler the cat. Xyler the cat. Okay. And now let's do, actually let's do this right. Sacrificial lacquer. Shit, I need cartons. Okay, stop the time lapse, stop the time lapse. I need to put cartons back there. How dare I proceed to the highlighted route without cartons. Where the fuck is my other bunks? Can someone find it? Okay, I'm convinced maybe that it's under this stuff. I have a big box of collection boxes and I'm just confused. Like, oh no, those are all boxes. Oh no. In there. What's this? Okay, I found one carton. Great. I need to fill the whole line of, with it. Ugh. Don't you hate when there's something in the way of you proceeding? No! Something in the way. saved me. <laughs> it didn't break. It was scary. Out of the socket. 
<laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, is everyone okay? Good for you. My nail is sensitive. I have to kiss it better, you know? I love that we're all on the same page. Thank you guys. I don't know what we're referring to. But yes, we are all on the same page. Okay, I found a box that says HT Overflow. My HT floweth over. Happy Wednesday, team home and simply excited for this weekend world to launch. Spyglass has my name all over it. How do you know the name of the shape? Who named it? I mean, a lot of you named it. Okay, look, I found more stuff. Yes. What is this? One called black. Indigo away. One coat black. Royalty blue. That's, that's, an, no, that's not an OG one. I was like, is that an OG one? Um, Silver Flake Taco. This is unused. This is like new product, untouched. I'm also gonna have a section in this room somewhere that's like my mini warehouse. So like new product that I didn't open if I wanted to give it to someone. You know what I mean? Okay, I actually think some of this is that because they are in their proper packaging, yeah. Fuck, so I don't really wanna open these because like these are new products. If I have a friend over and I just like wanna give them my overbrew, you know, like I, like to have that. I don't grab it off this shelf. That'd be weird. Cause like, what if I open it? I these might have been open. But but uh, what is this? Opened. More opened. Red flake taco. Unopened. Ah! <laughs> You'd think I was playing phasmophobia in here. Opened. Look more linear hollows. Fuck, these were all opened. Xyler. Oh my god, these were all opened. I don't have room. <laughs> I already put these ones away. What am I gonna do? Or wait. Actually, I, I did need one of those. Let's see if I can actually fill gaps. Okay, that was a gap. Green screen? No, I have two. Duct tape. Here, this one's weird, so let's replace them. Okay, okay, banana, banana hacks? Yeah! Here we go. Uh, royalty blue? No, I have two. Okay, so I, I did, there's a couple wins we got here. White. Oh, this white is half use. Perfect. We will replace her. Okay, so that was somewhat worth it. Alright. This is, this is all kind of ridiculous, though, isn't it? Okay, there's more love spell. Queen's Curse, RIP. Twice in a blue moon. Wicked Potion. Okay, here's all the magnetics. Well, some of them. Limited, 
retro random this is literally like just a random pile random pile um look i have too many rainbow snow without a label i think i can fit more here yes okay 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 so in here more royalty and black that i don't need so these will go back to OpenStock. OpenStock.com, is that a website? Why do I know this? Why do I know this? What about these guys? Matchmaker? I have two already. You're jealous, don't, don't be mad. Don't be mad at me, don't be mad at me. Stop being mad at me. Hi, tea hibiscus. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm filling gaps, so that's fine. Uh, butterscotch. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Win. Brew. Already have. Butterscotch. Already have. Starry eyed. Haven't gotten there yet. Party punch. I already have two, but I might add four. So if I find a fourth, I'll add. Frostlight, don't be mad, don't be mad. I already have four. Bottle service, I'll save that. Rainbow snow, I had now have, nope, that's too many. Can't have more than four. Okay, so this this is done. I'm gonna move these out, I gotta clear out. Well, there's more Xyler. Okay, so I could do two cats. Cat's evasion, see? Kinda good I did this. Cat's evasion, tax haven. Party punch. I still have this like memory. Uh, do you remember when I did the, the video, like talking to Holodoggle customers, like in 2019 probably, or 2020? And I spoke to someone who said their, their hair was hot pink. This was filmed and put on my main channel. Their hair was hot pink, and they said that their favorite color was party punch, and they would be so upset with me if I ever discontinued it, because it was, it's like the color of their hair, the color of like their life. Does anyone remember this? She had like hot pink hair. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I just like always think about that. Anytime I see party punch, I'm like reminded, like that was a threat, you know? Do not discontinue party punch or else she won't be able to match her hair. You remember that? Yeah, I'd actually like to follow up with her and be like, so do you still only wear party punch? You know, like we could do like a follow up survey. Or do you think she's like changed her ways, changed her mind? She dyed her hair another color. And here I am thinking five years later that I'm not allowed to discontinue it because she matched her hair to it. Like what if her hair is green? <laughs> I'm gonna need an update. Listen up, party punch girl. Where are you? We need to hear what color your hair is and if that's the main color you're wearing on your nails. Okay, I'm gonna migrate these over. Nope, not yet, I have more. Do you see how like hard it is to do one thing because then there's eight other things that surface and then you're like, fuck. Like, okay, now I have these to put away. I have way too many play roses. We're gonna have to do something about that. That is ridiculous. Oh look, another. Party punch. Where is she? Imagine she was here right now. Yeah, imagine she was like, I have something to tell you. I actually dyed my hair purple. <laughs> um, some of these are kind of used, so I'm gonna just do a little s switcheroo. This one doesn't even have a label, so she can go sit by herself over here. Okay, what else? Um, don't need the yellow. Oh. I see one that's half empty. Let's swap it out. 
Orange? Yes, I need one more orange. To make it four. Nice, she shoots, she scores. Crosslight rainbow, magenta jelly. I have definitely enough. Wait, do I? Yes, too much. Green taffy, perfect. Just slaughter in there. Bring me the teal, I'm good. Circuit breaker, I have enough, okay. So these are extras. Extra, extra. Extras that I can't give away. Because I might have used them, I don't, I'm not sure. That's this category. I might have used these, I don't know. So I won't give them away. <laughs> I'm gonna give someone my, like, uh, maybe it's used, maybe the, maybe the neck is nasty, you know what I mean? Okay, I still haven't found the other stuff, but you know, whatever. I still haven't found cartons. Refill your tea. I never even got tea. Ben. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a quick break to pee out the water. That doesn't sound that good. I, I need I need tea, I think, actually. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna do a quick scan and see if I can find another box. So I will just turn up the music for you and you can look at how you would reorganize my shelves. No tea, who are you? I know, it's, it's been water. It's been water, okay. All right, Susan, let us know what ad you get.
with a box that literally says heavy and fragile and studio, studio one, that's me, studio city. I think this is the one, this is, this is the box. Why is nail polish so heavy? Okay, so I did pack empty collection boxes on top just because I was trying to like waste space. I'm just gonna throw them over here for now. I don't know where else to put them. My desk is full. Julian, launch. Hollow days. Time lapse can't see this side, so it's fine. That's fun. See, I could do a whole wall of boxes if I wanted. Uh, this one won't fit though. Oh, this isn't even the final. <gasps> you just saw a prototype. This is a different color on the inside. You notice that? See how it's like a more saturated purple? And I think that's different, right? How'd you get in here? That's not... Fuck. I thought for sure it was this box because it doesn't have a label. Like I didn't write HT shelves. It's just like, look, here's some hard candy now polish. Should I put that up? Did I mix them? No, I didn't. That would be so dumb of me. No, I didn't mix them. Okay, that's not, it's not hollow toggle. Wrong box. Send it back. No. Oh no. It's, it's not the box, unfortunately. RIP to my labeling. Get out of here. Well, I'm gonna need my chair back, but. Boxes plus display 
wrap plus box sheets. I don't know what that means. I'm lost in the sauce. You know what like would help this dire situation? It would help if I unpacked the rest of this room. Yeah, someone someone get on that. You know, if I <laughs> if I unpacked the vaguely Describe boxes like HT extras. Like, what is it? What does that mean? Is it a, is it auditioning? I don't know. You probably said you wrote protos by accident. You should open all those boxes right in front of the camera. Mark, you're right. I definitely put my main shelf stuff and wrote protos. Like, that's so easy for me to mix up. The room tour is awesome. It looks so much bigger than the old room. Thank you. The, the tour is on Snapchat if you're like, I, I don't see anything. Uh, I, there. Look on my Snapchat and you will understand my situation. Okay, I'm in a situation ship with my boxes. There's like 27 boxes. I thought I labeled them and now I can't find ones. This is a dilemma. I need more cartons to put behind here so I can continue putting these on the shelf. And the time lapse cannot resume until that is done. This is why I hate moving. Yeah, me too. Eilish, Billie Eilish. Um, yeah, I, I hate moving. That's why I try not to do it, but you know. Like 27 dresses, but 27 boxes. Yeah. Ask the warehouse to ship it over. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be like, send me cartons, because I lost them. <laughs> Why do we need cartons? Because they line the shelf behind me, and then I do that. So we could just proceed without them, and I will have to suffer. How about that? I will just suffer later and unpack it um, on my own free time. On my own free will. Maybe they're in a different room. I don't think so. Do you really need the cartons? Well, like see how you can see them behind? Like it helps and then I'd have to take out the bottles to put the cartons back. Snapchat back? I mean, I don't know. I've been using it since 2017. It's the only app that doesn't have the same public toxicity. Cause like the way it works is you just like look through people's stories and that's it. There's no like, I mean, they do have spotlight, which is like their version of a feed, but uh, uh, no one cares. <laughs> So I think it's more just like you use it to watch people, look at people you care about. Whereas Instagram is like, mm, we're gonna show you people you hate and then you're gonna read the comments and you're gonna wanna join in. So I don't like that. I've actually like, yeah, I don't, I don't, blah, blah. Snapchat, I don't get that energy there. Weren't you throwing around cartons last time? Yeah, but I used them all. I found them and then I used them all. How do you clean empty nail polish bottles for custom combos? Um, so, I don't know. I don't know the best advice. I don't have an official response because if you use acetone, like acetone isn't designed to go into the, like the bristles of most polish because it can eat at the glue. So if you shake the bottle around with acetone, like I don't know where I mean, that's never really something I've told you to do personally. Officially? Officially. But, um, you know, if you're willing to take your chances and don't care about the outcome, if it doesn't work, then like you could try that. I've seen people say that, but uh, yeah. 
I could send you lots of cartridges. <laughs> no, it's okay, I'm a journaler. I will find them, I swear. So I'm gonna just keep going, irrespective of the cartridge situation, and it'll just bother me, but it's okay. We're, we're gonna get over it. Ready? Did I move my camera by accident? Oh my God, I did. My time lapse will be fucked. Hold on. Shit, I can't reach. to go on the other side. Simply cannot reach. Well, this is going really well, guys. What do you think? That was the wrong way. Too far. Guys, we started out so strong. Like, what happened to us? You know, like, we were killing it. We were winning the world championships. And then we ran into a catastrophe, a disaster. It's a disaster. Okay, we're gonna move forward anyways. Simply Shrimpy, yes. I am Shrimply. I am Shrimply Neological. Okay, we're, we're time lapsing. Don't tell anyone that it's wrong. Love spell. I'll have to find a creative, strategic way to put uh, the cartons behind after. Maybe I'll just go like, slide them on in. Just like that, I'll make that sound effect too. It'll work. To be clear, I have other cartons, but I, there's nail polish in them and they're like complete and untouched. So it'd be kind of dumb of me to unpack good new product. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. <gasps> I just scared the shit on me. <laughs> I didn't see. Oh my God, is this a garbage bowl? Mm -hmm. There's some bones in the chicken, so I think I got those. There's bones in the chicken that I'm gonna eat? You know, it was a bird at one point. There's bones oh. in the chicken. <laughs> This is so yummy. Okay, let me just finish this time lapse. Do you know where my box is of the whole I literally can't find it. I don't know what it says. That's that's part of the problem. There's some boxes here. Yes, I yes, there's boxes everywhere, but <laughs> I'm screwed. I can't find the HT core. I found you, Miss New Booty. That's a night mode. Stop the time lapse. That was the magnetics. I know I've I've done so much work in the last hour. I deserve dinner. She said. After two percent productivity. Okay, who wants to have dinner with me? This is my welcome to my life. You get to watch me not really succeed at putting nail polish on a shelf and eat dinner. Mmm. I gotta test this shit.
forgot we set up my macro camera for lunch this weekend. The lighting's not ideal, but yeah, garbage ball. Here, I'll put my nail polish here so you can see. Okay, we have a little quinoa, some beets, some sweet potato, no, squash. Chicken, kale. Um, this is like one of those pre-made salad bowls from Farm Boy. It's a grocery store in Ottawa. Plus chicken. My lazy but healthy dinner hack if I like don't want to make any vegetables, which has been every day since we moved. Um, is to just buy a pre-made salad bowl with like stuff in it. Like not just lettuce, please. Give me like stuff in it, thank you. And then buy a fresh chicken, like already cooked, and then put them together. Done. Just finished my Taylor Swift Manny using the Cookies and Crumbs collection. Too bad my other hand was a little sloppy. Well, we have to see. Maybe it was, maybe it looks good. <laughs> mm hmm Buy a fresh chicken, like one that's alive. <laughs> I don't know what grocery store you use, but um, where we go, like, yeah, they have the like chicken breasts or like raw meat that you can cook or they have ones that are already made and like packaged and they're like ready and they're warm and they're in their like warming area. And I'm just like, I'll take that. I don't have to do a thing. <laughs> um, but it tastes like real food. It's not like fake, fake chicken. It's a real chicken that someone, someone else cooked, you know? And it's not like those strips that are in a vacuum sealed pack that say they're good for two months? No, not that. It's a ro rotisserie chicken, but like cut up in pieces. <laughs> Vegans are so mad right now. Yeah. call it a salad bar. Do we have, oh, they kind of have a salad bar at Farm Boy. I've gotten that before. You just like take all the random shit and throw it in a bucket. It's lovely. I really like, um, I never really thought about this before, but dried cranberries, they're actually good. I forgot they existed for like years, you know? But I kind of like them in a salad. They just add a lot of flavor. Your chicken tastes like cranberries. I guess it's like Thanksgiving. Like forgot I existed. That's a lot of money you forgot that you spent then. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay, you tell me what you're eating for dinner. If it's dinner time. It's 7 p.m. where I am now. I've been hardly working for hours. I need a break. Soup. I mean, green bean soup, makes sense. Nothing. It's midnight in the UK. Well, you must be having chamomile tea then to go to bed, yeah? Chipotle, have to decide. Chili's pasta. Have you tried celery and peanut butter? Yes, my childhood. 
Greek salad fettuccine alfredo. Shrimp scampolini, anyone? Rice with chicken, peas, and carrot. Oh, that sounds so basic. I love it. That's all I want. Beef, broccoli, and sweet potato. Mmm. A latte and a ginger ale. Those are kind of weird together, to be honest. Papaya? That's a cool fruit. Vodka? Is it penne a la vodka? Breakfast, beans and eggs on toast. What is that customary of? Is that an English thing? I guess so, because maybe your time zone is giving it away. I hate beans. Mm -mm. No. Unless they're cold and small and in a salad, then I like, they can pass. Like, I don't really notice them. But if you like take a can of big ass beans and like heat them up, and like dump it in a bowl and it's like goopy, I will throw up in the bowl. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> but I don't mind like little lima beans or lentils or whatever in a like tossed salad with other stuff. But like a can of beans heated up and like went like this in a big steeping, heaping, steaming bowl. I, I, no, no. That's not how you make beans. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Refried beans? No, I don't like that either. What does that mean? Does that mean you fry it twice? I don't even know. <laughs> what is a refried bean? I don't think it's as common here. I mean, don't listen to me. I often say things that misrepresent Canadians and people think it's a Canadian thing, but I don't know what I'm talking about. You just fry them normally. Then why are they called refried? They're cooked twice. Okay, well, two of you don't agree. You cook them twice? I, I have a boring palate. If that wasn't obvious. Like, I don't eat anything interesting. <laughs> Is this chicken or fish? Yeah, I know the difference between chicken and fish. <laughs> do you like sushi? I do like sushi. I love sushi. Mm -hmm. But caveat. I, when I say sushi, I don't mean what I think most people mean. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like sushi when it's cooked, which limits most sushi. I love the fake crab sushi. I know it's fake, I don't care. I mean, if they have real, that's amazing, but that's rare. Um, I love when it has like avocado and carrots and cucumber, um, and then it's in a roll. So I like sushi rolls with cooked meat. <laughs> Which is not most sushi, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I will eat raw salmon in a sushi roll, but I can't eat too many of them. My stomach just doesn't agree with raw meat. So I prefer to have like the crab ones or like the vegetable ones, honestly, like the avocado, the carrots, um, like that, like love that. That's a Cali roll? Yeah, well, I'm a Cali girl.
Yeah. I guess I like veggie rolls, right? That's what I really mean. But I love the fake crab. <laughs> I grew up eating crab sticks. Did anyone else? Anyone else prank call people and then eat crab sticks? Like they would come in a vacuum sealed pouch. It's, it's on, it's probably disgusting. Do they even sell this anymore? I don't know. <laughs> but they, it was called imitation crab. Cause like, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real crab. <laughs> but they just, they look like cheese trains of crab. And I would eat those as sticks like a cheese string. Like I would take it out of the package and I'd dip it in like seafood sauce and then literally eat the stick of fake crab. That's my childhood. That's why I have the palate I do. <laughs> it's codfish, yeah, it's some kind of fish. Or like the mush of the fish that they put together. Imitation crab is fish. It was like the fancy snack, you know? Crab sticks. <laughs> Crab sticks and cheese sticks and Lunchables and Dunkaroos. And Gushers and Fruit by the Foot. And Pizza Pockets and Bagel Bites. Pizza pockets were very much a university thing. Imitation crab is actually good. It is. I love imitation crab. <laughs> I also like real crab, like Alaskan king crab from Florida. Oh my God. It's very good. I really like that. Delicious. At least I like seafood, most seafood. Just not when it's raw, but, or calamari, or caviar, I don't like that. Or octopus, don't like octopus. <laughs> but I like real crab. I love shrimp, like jumbo shrimp from somewhere in around Florida. I'm just saying Florida, because that's where I've been 87 times. But somewhere where you're close to an ocean where you can actually get like fresh shrimp, it's so good. Mm. Love it. I'm sorry. Alaskan king crab, but I've experienced it in Florida. <laughs> mm, crab cakes. Crab cakes are one of the few things that I'll eat fried. Cause like they're like deep fried, right? I don't really eat anything else that's deep fried, but a, a crab cake, mm, yeah. Fucking eat that shit. Lobster, I actually think lobster kind of like doesn't taste like much. I don't know. Maybe after eating Alaskan king crab, my taste buds got spoiled. And like lobster, anytime I've had lobster, I'm just like, nah. <laughs> like it's not that fancy. I don't know. Like <laughs> I don't really like it. <laughs> I would much prefer Alaskan king crab. <laughs> this is what happens when uh, your grandmother lives in Florida, then you've been visiting her since you were like, no, you're right. Well, I'm right about something about food. I'm always wrong. Crab is just so much tastier. And you can appreciate like a good one. Like I can tell when an Alaskan king crab is like a good one and not like an imitation one. Kind of like how people can tell like, oh, this is a good wine. I, I can't tell that. I have no idea. Give me a box there.
Plus they drown lobster in butter, so you only taste butter. Great point. Like I will eat the Alaskan king crab fresh out of its leggies and like not even need to dip it in the butter they give you because it's already so tasty. That's how you know. I'm a professional food critic. Look, I'm eating my whole dinner. Wow. Look, I finished dinner, now I'm gonna go prank call. <laughs> what are you doing after dinner? Do you wanna prank call some boys? I just feel like getting my anger out on other people. You need dessert? I do need a peppermint tea with chocolate oat milk. He's probably not even watching. <laughs> He's probably like, this dream is going nowhere. I'm leaving. <laughs> I want a shrimp now. I'm sorry. I'm simply shrimp logical. Shrimply. Shrimply now logical. That's actually. What this says is shrimply nail audio. I kind of want shrimp now. <laughs> okay, are we doing anything? <laughs> okay, I'm continuing. I'm gonna do light mode, it's fine. Don't be mad, get glad. Okay, let's organize these little boys. We'll start with purpley. Flash drives. Oh, I have too many. You're going into surplus stock. Before ending stream, maybe we can get more polishes done in the shelves. Guys, uh, listen, it's not just me like not doing it. You, you understand because you do this too. I know. You've done the same thing. You've tried to organize and you're like, oh, that's wrong. I'm gonna redo it. Or you did it poorly and you forever hate it. And we don't want that. I have too many sunset simulations. Okay, light mode, ready? Engage. I'm still mad I have to do this without my cartons, but it's fine, I'll survive. Okay, let's go. Light mode. Now you will get your second wind. Just like an athlete. That's a fucking prototype. Or a mini production. Good thing I have another one. Whoops. Encryption key, RIP, death by hollow royalty, <laughs> just death by customers, basically. Okay. Wham, there. So let me pause that. Okay, we added more. <laughs> I like cleaning other people's stuff, not my own. Okay, will you help me, Mary? Mary Herbie. Wait, so you are, so are you organized? Yes, I am organized. 
Sometimes. Okay, what's next? Frost and metals. Sometimes I am organized, sometimes I am chaos. Depends on what mode I was switched, switched in, switched on to. Okay, gift receipt. We'll start with the latest. Gift receipt, frozen bananas. And then we can go to cheap champagne, fake date, RIP. Here, I'll do it so you can see. You can see what I'm working with, what we're working with. That's not there. No, no, we have to do multi-chrome. I fucked up. I was supposed to do magnetics and then multichrome and then light mode. No. Don't be mad. And that's so light mode lands in the correct spot. Shit, guys. It's not a library. You can choose to change it. It is a library, though. <laughs> okay. We're gonna time lapse me just moving them over. No one will know. Is there a hidden secret in the purple shade in the royalty collection dropping? A, a hidden secret in the purple shade? I mean, everything's a secret until it's not, right? I thought someone spotted something else that wasn't nail polish. So that's kind of a secret, I think. Got a secret, can you keep it? Now this one will stay. Better lock it in your pocket. Taking this one to the grave. I do not watch Pretty Little Liars. Miss Shift. Miss Shift. Blue ain't slick. I don't want to put two. That, or that's too many. Because I definitely don't have two of the others. So I'm just going to have to hold them in a holding pattern. And then we do purple with envy. And then cat's evasion. Then uh, chameleon coat, which I only have one of for some reason. So let me just push these over. I'm gonna have to fix this all later when I finally get my cartons. Okay, now these are overstock. Now we do frosted metals. Gift receipt. Did you get your gift receipt? Frozen bananas, which has a special carton. I know, cheap champagne. Big date. And I have more of them here. R.I.P. Cold Shoulder. Don't be mad. <gasps> Mint Money. Foiled again. Mm. Yes. Fuck, I love Foiled again. It's actually so great. Okay. Anything over here? That was Xyler. I'm just scanning this side of the desk for, oh, there's a Rogue Foiled again and a Mint Money. Look, I love that it's like kind of a light metal rainbow. It's a light metal rainbow. Oh, that's more Xyler.
Praise be. Hello, bless. <coughs> Maybe I'm unboxing a bunch of dust. <laughs> Who packed dust? If you're organizing with me, but you're like not in the chat because you're actually doing something productive or uh, are being more productive than I, put a one in the chat just really quickly, just so I know. Don't lie, don't put a one if you're not doing anything, if you're just sitting on your ass, okay? Put a one if you're like, oh, I'm in the middle of organizing, but I'm not talking. I will check your history. Green bean is 69, that, that, that tracks. Sophie, using a member chat and you're busy doing something? I don't believe it. Middle of working, one, one, one. The, M Morin, Marin, <laughs> put a one. I was gonna say, my, why is my mod putting a one? <laughs> but that's like, Ben's mod. Christine, serious question. Why did the brush size, oh, I thought it was gonna be like an actually serious question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, why did the brush size of the newer Hollow Tacos get so much bigger? Uh, they've been that way for a, a while and for about a year. Yeah, it's actually been a year since we started doing the wider brush and it's not like super wide. It is more average size, if that makes sense. And it's basically based in data from our customers. We did two separate surveys. One was for Hollow Royalty. Last year, we asked them which brush they want for their collection, overwhelmingly voted the wider one. And then we also did a separate survey just based on like nail essentials and nail painting behavior and asked people, if it's this formula, what type of brush do you want? If it's this formula, what type of brush do you want? So we could collect more data on whether or not the formula was like biasing that, including top coats, because we wanted to know. And still, even if you control for the formula or top coat, overwhelmingly people voted for the wider one by like a lot. If it was like 60, 40, that, that's not what I mean by overwhelmingly because you're still getting more of a split. <clears throat> so yeah, we, we did transition over. So new products that are released will now come default with the wider brush, but we still make the skinny brushes available if you want to purchase a pack. Does Glossy Taco come with a wide brush now? It does. This is the old one. Actually, this is nothing. This is a bonus track. <laughs> it's like, where is it? Uh, then that's on me and my tiny fingers. I hear you. Some uh, not new product will still come with the skinny brush if that's what it started out with as we continue to work through stock. Uh, but you will always, like what we're trying to do is always make each size brush available, whether it's a six pack or whatever. So you can swap something in if you want to change, yeah. I thought more people were split on it, which is why we had both. Cause we started off as skinny, but then after pulling people multiple times and collecting data, it is a, it's very much a s small, small minority who want the skinny. So that's on data. These are all, mm. okay. Any more frosted metals? Those bananas. Oh, those boxes. Favorite sister. Oh my God, I almost forgot about her. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, mm, this does not go. Where does red go? Like nowhere, I guess here. Okay, we got favorite sister, the red. That would look so good with my outfit. Go team Canada. Um, okay, I 
think we can proceed to the highlighted route. Ready? So we're going over here and I'm gonna start with gift receipt. Which I have four of. We will do this whole shelf. Okay, I also have frozen bananas in a box. So I'm just gonna put that there. And I have another box. I'm gonna put them there. Oh, I have too many frozen bananas. Anyone want one? I think some are from like the one restock we did. But then no one bought it, so we didn't restock it again. <laughs> ben didn't mind. He was like, I don't even like this color. How rude. Because I actually think it's such a nice pale yellow gold that reminds me of like pale yellow gold jewelry. You know how there's like just, it's a specific color of jewelry. I just thought it's very reminiscent of that. Anyways, it's fine. <laughs> Not everyone's gonna love everything, you know what I mean? an extra. I know I have more frozen banana boxes somewhere, so I, I'll just grab them later. Um, is that a favorite sister? No, that's double dare. Oh, wait. Those are flake tacos, you know. Flake tacos. More flake tacos. Why do I have so many silver and red flake tacos? Oh, actually, I think I know what happened. I think they sent me all my pieces for assets, like photography, twice by accident. So that's why I just have a bunch of extras. <laughs> it happens. I don't mind. Love the boxes displayed on the side like you have it. Hollow taco across all three shelf sections. Just a thought. Can't wait for Saturday. Yeah, I think I'm liking this without putting the polishes in front of them. I haven't decided like where they'll go, but that's just kind of a placeholder. So yeah, I, I think it it's better that way. You know what I mean? We made the right call to redo it. I currently have two pages of items on my wish list. <laughs> you gotta prioritize. What have you been wishing for the most and what do you need that's on sale that you definitely wouldn't pick up if it wasn't on sale? Cause like maybe you can't buy everything all at once. That's fine, you know, you have responsibilities. But if you had to prioritize, like what do you really need, want now, that you've been waiting for the longest and you, it's more valuable to you if you get it on sale. Does that make sense? song reminds me of the princess diaries it does good job royalty free let me rephrase the question is the purple shade in the saturday launch of thermal no <laughs> it's a version of something maybe you've seen but it's not exactly the same it's a bit of an inside job Okay, what's next, if anything? Maybe nothing. Because <laughs> we, I don't have enough room there to add another category. Like that's too little, right? So I think what I would probably rather do is once I locate everything else, I would expand. And then we would start up on the shelf above. 
which I'm going to have to move the camera for because you, you can't you can't see. You're too short. Okay. You cannot see up there. But I have a lot of stuff that would go next because I've been kind of sorting for the other things. So I've found and grouped other stuff. Like I have a lot of vacation. I see after party, hollow barista, um, chromes. And then I, I have a full box of limited edition stuff that I kind of don't want to put super high, right? Is that okay? Can I just, I'm asking you permission. Can I put limited edition next? So that it's more likely to be seen, you know? Just like put it there and then go back to collections. I think that's what I want to do. That's kind of what I had last time. I just want to copy paste. What would be after a limited edition mix formulas? Yes, we would do well, a little bit of that, a little bit of not. I'd probably start with like the Hollow Barista Crushed Hollows and then I'd put Chrome, Vacation, and probably follow it chronologically after that. Because it was right after that that we started doing more mixed stuff in the same set. So that gives me permission to just put it by uh, order it came out so that I don't have to redo everything later. But I have a lot of room here in the Hollow Glitter Aisle. So I'm still a little bit confused. Like that's a lot of space. I could like, I might just in the middle of the night come down here without streaming and just like add hollow burst to here or like something just to fill this one a little bit more. Put jelly glitters in there. Yeah, but I don't want to split them up. Like if I put Midnight Owl and Starry Eyed, you know, like from the After Party collection, like, yeah, that would kind of make sense formula wise. But then where do I put Curfew Crasher? It's just going to be by itself somewhere? Like, no, <laughs> they need to stick together. So yeah, I think after a certain point in our releases, I do want to switch to just the collection stays together, you know? But I could put like the chromes here. How about that? Like if I just had the chromes here, cause that's just like five piece and it could fit easily. So maybe it's chromes and barista just cause those are so in their own little crew to use that space. I could do that. Okay. Why don't we do that? And, and then I go make tea. Cause I think this is accomplishable. Is that a word? No, it's not. This is accomplishable. Okay, there's my chromes. For some reason, I don't have too many of them. I don't know why. I will find them. I will do my homework next time, I swear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like haven't had time. I'm so unprepared for life, actually. Okay, ready? enjoyment this Saturday. That's been most of my time. Planning some of the content, the sale, the marketing, the meetings, the actually not even just that. It's all the collections of the rest of the year we're working on and working on 2025 calendar. So all that takes so much time. And then I'm just like, Oh, can't unpack the kitchen. <laughs> can't guess we can't cook. Don't know where my pots and pans are. I 
have so many hollow cappuccinos. Like, why? Why do I have so many? Like, I have like seven of them. What? How many shots do you want? Hot take. Hot coffee take. Uh, hollow cappuccino is actually my favorite from the barista collection. There's just something the way it glows and the warmth it has and the hue it brings. It's like not too light, it's not too dark. It's like just in the middle. And on me it's slightly red, just a little, which I find like I really like on me. So yeah, hot take, that's actually my favorite. It's not sales favorite, <laughs> but I don't care. Also, it's my favorite because the name, Hollow Cappuccino, hello, that's the, the video that I did, if you recall, where I was basically trying to call out some shop in Dubai for like selling glitter that people would ingest that you shouldn't eat. <laughs> okay, here we go. We did it. Okay, that looks better, right? We feel better. No one will hate on me and be like, you did nothing. Like this is it. It's almost full, it's in frame. Sorry, yes, the holo cappuccino was from Mumbai, not Dubai, sorry. Watching Christine organize her polishes is super relaxing. Is it though? Or are you just stressed? <laughs> Here, let's do a pull. <laughs> I think you did a lot after dinner. I just needed food. You know, this athlete needs food to refuel. Um, how do you find me organizing nail polishes? Relaxing or kind of stress inducing. <laughs> there you go. It's okay, be honest, I don't mind. I ran out of water. Oh no, we're out to water. Can I pick both? Um, that's not how poles work. If you can pick both, that's a poorly designed pole, unless it's a check all that apply. But this would not be the correct question for a check all that apply. I should have rephrased it differently. Should I have wanted you to pick in the middle, then maybe I would have done a scale, a one, two, three option. I started doing my nails last year. I got 69 Hollow Taco now. Thank you, Pan Pauline. It's relaxing, but in a bad way. Since now I sat down to watch the stream and procrastinate organizing my own stuff. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Relaxing, but I've seen Snapchat and what is behind the camera. <laughs> so now you know how I feel from my vantage point, and I'm just like, um, so I'm gonna take a nap. Like that that is how I feel sometimes when I look at this room. Um, but then I don't take a nap, I end up having to go do other things. 
But yeah, like one day I'm gonna get through this and it's gonna feel so good. And I'm gonna Snapchat it again and be like, look how nice this looks. You know, I already started putting away some backup audio equipment in the storage side of the shelf. Like not the open storage, there's also closed storage. I love closed storage, love built-ins. So I started putting some audio stuff away just to start unloading boxes in here and put stuff away. Cause like, I can't move in this room. I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing it and have enough space made. Space maker, I need a space maker. <laughs> I don't think I will make more space by Saturday. So that's kind of the problem. Have you considered leaving the old non hollow jacket polishes in storage? So I have enough room on my shelves to put up all the same nail polish that I had on my last shelves, like from every brand. But yeah, I'm making like the middle, my wide wall of hollow taco. But if you look at my Snapchat, you'll see like, this is not it. This is like one sixth of all the space I have. So I definitely have way more room all the way up to the ceiling to put the rest of the brands. But I actually think I'm gonna be more selective. Like last time I just put literally every nail polish I had ever, including ones I bought from the dollar store for a video, <laughs> including like duplicates that Sally Hansen sent me in PR cause they forgot. Like I just had a lot that I would, like I don't, I don't need all of those to be honest. So I think I'm gonna be a bit more selective when I put everything else up in part because I wanna make sure I have enough room, uh, but also cause like, I'd just be putting them up to put them up somewhere and I don't think I really need to do that. Like, so yeah, so I might consider a storage option or just donating stuff if I'm like, I'm literally never gonna use this. I have doubles of these or throw them out if they're just really old and bad, not donate those ones. Like sometimes, some of, the, some of the dollar store quick dry tacos. <laughs> Where's Unicorn Pea? In a box that says designer. There's a box somewhere that says designer polish and that's where I put my like expensive or nice polishes. So that's where like Christian Louboutin, uh, Gucci, Unicorn Pea and whatever, I know it's not designer, but same type of category. So that is somewhere. Don't know where. I'm, I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> I admit you're good background noise for studying. That's good. Happy studying. Will the pastel bundle be part of the sale even though it's already discounted? So your discount will start with the original retail price. There is no stacking, so you can't stack a discount with your discount. So if you get 20% off, it'll just be which one is better off of the, or sorry, not which one is better, but it'll just begin with the retail price, not the discounted bundle price. It's not a double sale. It's a sale based on your tier. So like what's the original price of the pastel bundle before the strike through off the top of your head? Is it 98? Cause it's seven. So it'd be 20% off of 98, the original retail price, not the discounted price. Does that make sense? Anything that has a bundle price now won't look like that on the weekend. It'll just be at the retail price and then you'll get your 10, 15 or 20 off of the original price. Madame, your picture that comes up when I Google Hollow Taco. My picture that comes up? I'm sorry. My picture that comes up? What happens? What is my picture? Looks the same to me. I don't know. I could, <laughs> maybe it's just based on like your history. <laughs> Simply, I have two tests tomorrow. It's time to study, little bunny. Maybe you should sell the old polishes. I don't have the bandwidth to do that, unfortunately. There's a lot of like administration in selling and shipping something. I just don't have the time to do that. So I will use my sister sometimes to help me do that, <laughs> but I can't use her all the time. 
Simply, I bought my first house. Congrats, Maria. That's awesome. Woo! All right. Well, on, on that note, I think I'm going to go make myself some tea. And I have just a little bit of other computer stuff to do. But I will see you guys on Saturday for the big launch. And how would you find me organizing these nail polishes? 79% said relaxing. 21% are stressed. So for the 21%, I'm going to de-stress you and let you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to the Menji gang. Thank you to the mods. And it, I'm really excited for Saturday. You will have seen all the polishes by then because we're revealing things early. I know detectives are like happy and sad at the same time. But yeah, looking forward to Saturday where we get to share what Hollow Royalty designed. It's been several months in the making. And in a, it's going to be in a different room. It's going to be very different launch stream vibes. There's going to be a lot of people who come on and are like, where are you? <laughs> right because they they weren't following this journey so that'll be that'll be fun maybe i'll just lie to them i'll just say i'm just downstairs should i do that all right everybody thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all later bye